हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर चेतन महाजन कंसल्टिंग सर्जिकल गैस्ट्रोएंटोलॉजिस्ट एंड एडवांस लैपरोस्कोपिक सर्जन आई एम प्रैक्टिसिंग इन हैदराबाद फॉर पास्ट 10 टू 12 इयर्स नाउ एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू बी विथ यू एंड शेयर माय एक्सपीरियंसेस विथ यू थ्रू दिस मीडियम आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम विच इज़ प्रिवेलेंट इन आर सोसाइटी एंड वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इज गर्ल ब्लैडर स्टोन्स also called as cholelithiasis in medical term or very simply called as gallbladder calculi now no one can exactly pinpoint and say as to why this particular issue happens there have been different theories put forward about fatty patients getting it or sick patients getting it etc but if we look at it scientifically we really don't know a correct reason as in my experience i have seen a patient as young as 6 years with gallbladder stone and a patient more than 80 years with gallbladder stone suffering with this particular disease so what are the common things which you note in these patients the first and foremost thing is pain pain which is in the upper part of the abdomen which sometimes can be radiating to the back and or radiating in the front portion the pain can be exaggerated after eating a lot of patients also complain of bloating like after they eat something or they even eat small quantity of food they feel as if their abdomen is bloated this is one variety the second variety which is very common this seen nowadays in our practice are those patients who actually come with some vague pain but also have symptoms like hyperacidity they feel that something is not right they will complain of belching they will complain of occasional vomiting feeling nausea and very vague symptoms but one and other investigation finally will lead to a finding of having gallbladder stones now what is the best way to diagnose stones the best way is to get a simple sonography of your abdomen which is available in many centers across very accessible it's a simple non invasive test which you can walk in and walk out with that's the simplest thing to diagnose the stones i am not going into the details and complications as of now i am trying to make it simple so that our common friends and people should understand it the second important point is what do you do after you find the stones well in earlier days the practice which was prevalent earlier and even to an extent which was taught to older medical students was that if you see stones and they are silent they were called popularly as silent stones then you would not do anything well it is absolutely correct to an extent but the same patient who is apparently silent may have comorbidities like diabetes he or she may have hypertension and heart issue and these are the patients as and when they develop symptoms they will become very difficult patients to manage the second point is that a lot of people have this misconception that gall stones will always and eventually produce pain only but like i told you earlier a lot of patients actually have hyperacidity like symptoms or dyspepsia and those are the patients who actually need treatment so it is not a one line answer as to you know which patient need a treatment and what treatment you have to mix and match a lot of findings the history of the patient the comorbidities etc now why should we treat gall stones the simple real answer is that you should treat gall stones to avoid complications the two most fearsome and difficult complications are a stone in the gall bladder which slips down into the bile duct get stuck there and can produce jaundice so a simple treatment becomes a complicated one second important complication a stone further slipping down which will start irritating the pancreatic duct and the pancreas and produces a, a disease which is called acute pancreatitis now all of you you are well aware you have you know you go through a lot of general knowledge 
through reading and going through the internet and all, you will understand that pancreatitis is a nasty disease. The complications and the potential of acute pancreatitis to produce problems is far more. And therefore, our first responsibility is to avoid these two <coughs> complications. So, we should treat gallstones to prevent further problems and complications. What is the best modality of treating gallstones? Simple answer, an operation, a surgery. A surgery which is now done prevalently laparoscopically is the best treatment for gallstones. Do not get afraid, don't have fear in mind by the word surgery. Laparoscopy surgeries, there are good, excellent centers, excellent surgeon across the city of Hyderabad wherein this operation can be done with utmost competitiveness, many people with minimum complications. A laparoscopy, as you all know, is a modality by which we try and operate through keyholes, making the recovery faster and smoother. And therefore, a laparoscopy operation is the most ideal thing for gallbladder disease. Are there any other modalities of treating gallstones? Well, frankly speaking, no. The answer is no definitive modality is available to treat gallstones. There have been medications being used across allopathy and other paratherapies also which claim that they can dissolve gallstones. But our experience in clinical practice is not encouraging. In fact, <clears throat> I see a lot of patients who waste time by taking medications not just few days for years together hoping that the gallstones will disappear but they seldom go. So my advice to all of you is that <clears throat> if you have gallstones, if you have a suspicion of gallstones, get an ultrasound done. If you have jaundice, get an ultrasound done. If you are getting upper abdominal pain, try and find out if you have gallstones. Number one, if you have gallstones, do not worry. The treatment is very smoothened, it's very streamlined. It needs a laparoscopic procedure to do your operation. In some other part of our discussion, I will also tell you how we go through the laparoscopy or the, you know, the general steps we follow for a gallbladder operation. But nonetheless, don't get worried about it. The treatment is straightforward. And my sincere advice and request to all of you is that do not delay the treatment of gallstones as they are harmful for producing one or more complications. We at our center calls, we are doing these operations regularly and we have enough and very strong data of patients who have undergone this procedure with us and who are had no complications whatsoever. So please do not fear. If you at all encounter any of this thing, don't hesitate to call our helpline number which is 77997322222. I'll repeat again, 77997322222. You can also log on to our website www.drchetanmahajan.com. Thank you.